Hello, look what I just found on the ground. This cute little spotted egg. It's got a hole in one side. So it's almost like something sucked out the yolk, but because it's hollow. And it's not like a bird came out of here. <laughs> I don't know that little hole. But it's adorable. I just found it lying on the ground. It's October. You wouldn't think that you would find a little cute little like egg shell on the ground this time of year. You know, I think of that as like a spring thing. Anyway, I wanted to talk briefly about like, thank God for God, right? Like being thankful that we can give things to God, release things to God, surrender things to God. Hi, Stumpy. Hello, honey. Um, sorry, the straight cat just showed up. I <laughs> try to keep this short. Um, hi, honey. I did try recording this a minute ago, but um, had food in my teeth. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you know, it's harder than you think. But um, anyway, <laughs> I am coming on the one year anniversary of a super stressful family situation. And um, we've all been sort of like healing from the trauma of it all for a while. Like it's been peaceful-ish, although still very much unresolved, hanging over our heads kind of. Um, we're sort of destroyed the entire family is a way to put it but um now we're switching interestingly into this new season of change stuff is shifting and something new is happening and it's good it's going to be good and yet it's also difficult in the sense that now we're all back dealing with like old trauma and pain and ways of communicating with each other and um, how, how to move forward together even though we are no longer uh, intact, you know? Um, and so I was driving to church today and I was releasing it to God and I just had the thought in my mind like thank God for God thank God that I can surrender and release and trust this to God because um, I cannot do it on my own and like if there's five of us involved and we're gonna handle this situation with a vote legally we have to handle the situation with a vote um, four of the people who are the least impacted um, all have a similar scenario where it might sway them to vote one way. And I am the only one who is in a completely different scenario and might want to vote a different way and um, has different uh, considerations and concerns and, you know, interests and, um, and yet I am the one impacted, I will be the one impacted the most on a daily basis. None of the other four will be impacted that way at all, ever. So it's feeling like, what, what's the point of voting then? What's the point of caring? What's the point of being involved? What's the point of trying? I, I have zero power and yet I am the most impacted. And um, and so that was hard, like, cause I internally will come to this place of like, I just don't care. I can't care. Um, I don't want to be involved. I, I'm checking out, you guys just do it because this is my one request they'll either honor it or they won't, you know, it's, um, very defeatist, very passive. And yet I have been so destroyed by being caring about a scenario and, and being so hurt with the, the various outcomes. It's like, I don't have the strength to do that as a second time. You know what I mean? I kind of have to just be like, whatever happens, is going to be okay 
and um, giving the rest of it to God. And but there is a strength in that, like literally, I I am grateful and thankful. Like thank God that I have God <laughs> to assist because that's what it's going to take. And also, however it plays out, um, that I have the ability to, to like trust God with the outcome, whether it's something I would want or not want, like trusting that God is involved and that it will be good and right for, for everyone. So that's all I came on here to say. Thank God for God. And, um, you know, it just, it's a reminder of when I didn't have that ability to release things to God or trust God with things or surrender things to God or, um, and, and it, it's also, it, um, we're moving through it differently. Like say you have five Christians moving through this scenario together, they might deal with it as five Christians. <laughs> and it would be one way. And if you have, that's not the case, it's you, you move through it a different way with um, people move through things a different way when they, when they have a different set of beliefs is the truth. So um, I need God. <laughs> on my side or even just helping with the dynamic and I'm thankful that I feel like God will stay involved throughout the process however it plays out so anyway I, I really think I said that a lot better in the last video where I had the food in my teeth but um because I'm going to have to be reminding myself of this for the next two months or however long it takes to play out. Um, I did want to spend a minute saying it again. Um, because it's good. I think it's a good reminder for all of us um, to be grateful for having God. Anyway, have an awesome day. Bye.